Hey Sycamore View family, I wanted to take a few minutes to give you a quick update about some things that are happening right now at our church. I want to say thank you for helping me and others see Jesus through a year unlike any of us have ever experienced before. None of us could have imagined in March of 2020 what we were in for, but I have been overwhelmed by the grace and the unity that I've seen over and over again from our church family. I know none of us wanna wear masks, we don't wanna practice physical distancing, and we don't wanna see our vulnerable brothers and sisters stay home to stay, to stay safe. But we've done these things for each other in the name of Jesus, and I'm so grateful for the cooperation and the support that you have given to the leadership as we tried to navigate the chaos and the confusion of COVID. As a church, we want to continue to hold up discipleship as the mission of the church. God is still moving and forming hearts to look more like Jesus. As we continue to come together as a church, we are in constant discussion evaluating what best practices are that both acknowledge the harsh reality of COVID-19 while also still focusing on discipleship. We are hopeful that a new season will soon emerge as COVID cases decline and vaccinations increase. For the time being, we will continue to ask people to wear masks when they're inside the building and throughout our Sunday morning worship services. We will keep monitoring the situation and as mask mandates are relaxed, we will prayerfully revisit these guidelines. Based on suggestions from our infectious disease consultant, we will increase capacity in our worship center beginning March 28th from 25% to 50% seating. This will give us a little more room while still allowing us to practice physical distancing. Also, we anticipate being in two worship services for the foreseeable future. I'm looking forward to a time when we can have as many people as we want together, as close as we wanna be, but we're not there yet. Over the next few weeks and months, we're hoping to gradually increase the number of Bible classes and group offerings available at Sycamore View. I think you'll see some incremental steps coming in April, May, and this summer that we hope will set us up to be operating more closely at full capacity by the time school starts in the fall. I'd love for you to mark April the 11th on your calendar. The first of these steps will kick off on April 11th. For three consecutive Sundays, we'll have a Sunday morning Bible class offering from 9.45 to 10.45 for a limited number of children, adults, and teenagers. We plan to have an adult Bible class in room 100. We plan to have footprints for eighth and ninth graders and their parents in the impact. And we plan to have a Bible class for first through fifth graders and their families in the gym. And youth group kids who aren't in eighth or ninth grade with footprints will be allowed to sign up and volunteer to help with the elementary age option. Also, in addition to the 945 offerings, on April 11th, we'll begin having children's worship during the 11 o'clock worship service for three-year-olds through kindergartners. As we walk through these opportunities, we'll learn from them and we'll develop appropriate plans for May, June, and July. Thanks again for your support and your patience and your prayers. It's an exciting time to be a part of the Sycamore View family.